Hi, I'm Stefano. I'm a software engineer at Arito, and I'm the original creator of Kale. Today, I'm going to walk you through um, the Kale SDK. The Kale SDK is a collection of functions and tools that you can use to enhance and, enri and enrich your Python code. To seam seamlessly transition from a Jupyter notebook in Kubeflow, for example, to a scalable Kubeflow pipeline, all the while integrating with Arito storage technology Rock. So um, as you can see here I, in my mini KF, Arito's uh, portable solution for Kubeflow. And uh, we're going to see how I'm going to use mini KF and the notebook in mini KF to um, convert a simple machine learning project into a a scalable Kubeflow pipeline. More specifically, um, I'm going to train a bunch of scikit-learn models on some data that you don't need to worry about. Um, what we'll focus on is how to use scale to convert a bunch of Python functions into a real Kubeflow pipeline. So let's dive into it. I'm going to my notebooks. I already have it open in my tab here. And this is my workspace environment. As you can see, I have a bunch of uh, Python files. So let's briefly go through them so you can understand um, what kind of machine learning project we're working on. This is very simple. In this module, I have a bunch of data processing functions. First, I uh, have a function to load some CSV, some CS CSV files, then a data processing function, and then um, a feature engineering one which calls on some private functions that work on a data frame uh, to categorize features and uh, clean up the data set. Then I have a models module. And this module simply implements three functions that train and predict against um, three scikit-learn models, a random forest, a support vector machine, and a logistic regressor. Now, if I want to bring all of these functions together, um, I need to call them one after the other. And that's what I'm doing in the main module. This is just importing my local modules and calling the data processing functions and the models after that. Let's try it out. So I will call my script and see what are the results. Cool. I see that my three machine learning models are working fairly well, and these are the accuracy scores. Now, this is all fine and well, but what about um, converting this sort of pipeline into a real KFP orchestrated one where my models can even run in parallel? These ones took just a few seconds to run. But what if I had gigabytes of data and each model had to run for hours? I would like them to be orchestrated by Kubernetes and be able to run um, in a scalable way um, and concurrently. This is where the Kale SDK, is com S SDK comes in. We'll be able now to just decorate the functions that you've already seen and touch basically nothing about your original code to convert them into a reproducible uh, and scalable pipeline. Let's do that. So I'm first going into my models and I want each one of these functions to become a Kubeflow pipeline step. So what I'm gonna do is to import um, a Kale decorator, a step decorator. And then what I'm gonna do is to decorate, decorate each one of these functions with this decorator and assign um, a step name, which will be the resulting Kubeflow pipeline step name. Let's call this random forest. I'm gonna do the same with my support vector machine step. We'll call this SVM. And this one, it's our logistic regressor. Logistic regressor. Cool. I want to do the same also for my data processing step. 
So again, from k less dk import step. And then let's give it a name. Data processing and the last one is feature engineering, which is also using all of these private functions to process the data set. Back to main. So in these main functions, we are now calling step decorated ones that are passing data between them. K will take care of converting these um, virtual pipeline, let's say, into a real one and pass data between these steps seamlessly. Oh, we were almost forgetting the show results one. I have a utils module where I'm just collecting all of the accuracies to print them nicely together. So I'll convert that function into a step as well. Great. Now, in order to convert this to an actual pipeline, I need to also tell Kale that this is indeed a pipeline. So I'm going to import the pipeline decorator to tell Kale that this specific function is a collection of steps and it should be treated as a pipeline. So let's give it a name and assign it to an experiment. And that's all we need. So what will happen if I run again this script? Let's see. You can see nothing different really happened. Our code just run as before. This is because by default, the KLS DK decorators are no obs. They really don't do anything because they don't get in the way if you don't call them explicitly. So if I want to do that, I will call my script by invoking the K library. So Python 3-m KL and then my script. Cool. Now, a bunch of stuff happened, and this is really Kale getting in the way, converting your um, step decorated functions into a real pipeline and actually running it locally and simulating how it would pass data between the steps. This is very useful because you can fail early if anything might, might be breaking or there might be some faults. Now that I know that actually my code, my Kale enhanced code is running fine locally. I can just add a single flag here to compile it to a real KFP pipeline. Now, Kale, what we'll do is uh, actually um, talk with uh, Aritos Rock to snapshot the current environment so that it is uh, committed into a reproducible snapshot. In this way, the pipeline um, always references an immutable snapshot. And you can always go back in time in case uh, some weird things happen, an exception raises, and you want to reproduce the previous environment. In this way, also, um, all of your local environment is preserved in the Kubeflow pipeline. So you'll see how my code will be able to import local modules and reuse local installed libraries. Now, our pipeline is already running in Qflow, so let's go see. And here it is. After a couple of minutes, our pipeline is done. Notice how um, we have as many steps as many functions that we decorated before with the step decorator. Each one of these is running that actual function, actually importing it 
from um, a local Python module. Remember that each one of these steps is actually executing in the same local environment as the original Jupyter Notebook because Rock snapshotted uh, the local environment and is now mounting, mounting new PVC on these steps. It's very interesting to see also how Kale was able to parallelize the functions that didn't depend on each other. So these steps are now actually running concurrently. Also, Kale and Rock are versioning each one of these steps at the beginning and at the end, so that you can always um, uh, go back in time and restore a full-fledged notebook out of this exact same point in time. And that's it for, the, for this lesson on the Kale SDK. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.